As 2018 was drawing to a close, we bid farewell to three Adventist health ministry pioneers from within the Loma Linda community. Within one month, we lost Dr. Joan Coggan on November 29 at age 90, Dr. Ellsworth Wareham on December 15 at age 104, and Dr. James Slater on December 26 at age 89. Hello, I'm Connie Vanderman Jeffrey, and this is All God's People. Dr. Joan Coggan was the Loma Linda University health cardiologist who in the 1960s co-founded the Loma Linda University Overseas Heart Surgery Team, which went on to perform more open heart surgeries than any similar organization. She and co-founder Ellsworth Wareham, MD, pioneered the use of the heart lung machine in Southern California, operating one day a week at LA County General Hospital. They began to wonder, why can't we do this overseas? The U.S. State Department, on the recommendation of Vice President Lyndon Johnson, sponsored the team on its first trip to Pakistan. For more than 50 years, the heart team initiated or upgraded open-heart surgery programs in countries around the world, including Chile, Greece, Hong Kong, India, Kenya, Malaysia, North Korea, Saudi Arabia, China, Thailand, Vietnam, and Zimbabwe. Dr. Coggan was 90 years old. Dr. Ellsworth Wareham, co-founder of the Overseas Heart Team with Coggan, was best known at the end of his life as much for his vegan-supported longevity as he was for his distinguished surgical career. An active centenarian, Wareham gained global fame through numerous media outlets in his later years for being the epitome of a Blue Zone resident, someone who lives in one of the healthiest parts of the world. According to a 2008 National Geographic article, Wareham epitomized the Seventh-day Adventist lifestyle of a vegan diet, exercise, and faith in God, all of which he cited as reasons for his longevity. Dr. Wareham was 104 years old. Dr. James M. Slater, whose determination to improve the quality of life for patients undergoing cancer treatment, inspired him to use proton therapy for patient care and to champion and oversee the creation of the world's first hospital-based proton treatment center at Loma Linda University Health. He passed away on December 26. The James M. Slater, MD, Proton Treatment and Research Center, which opened in 1990, has since treated more than 18,000 patients from around the world. Dr. Slater was 89 years old. Three incredible doctors and human beings. Three who defined excellence in science, medicine, and service. Three who served humanity and their Lord well. Hail and farewell. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was born on January 15, 1929, and the holiday on Monday marks his 90th birthday. Each year, this day offers us a reminder to reflect on the important work to which Dr. King devoted his life. It's difficult to summarize the work and legacy of Dr. King with just one word, but if pressed to do so, I might suggest that the word that most fully captures the impact of his life on our nation would be change. His vision of a society where there is true equality for all people has been a powerful catalyst for change in the way the great diversity of race and culture come together to form these United States. Dr. King was never clearer about the kind of changes he envisioned than in this single sentence from one of his speeches. He said, life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? It's a question which surely warrants our attention on the MLK holiday and every day. For All God's People, I'm Connie Jeffrey.